Hello? Hey. That's Jim. Hey. Well, it's lovely to be here in uh, Elton John's broom cupboard. <laughs> the truly glorious. Let me tell you a little bit about me. My name's Richie, as you already know. I'm approaching 40 from the wrong side. And I live in Salting. In from something, I see. It's not the most exciting place to live in the world, but it has its advantages. For example, I'm now the editor of the What's On Something magazine. And it's the easiest job I've ever had. It's literally just a piece of paper with the words fuck all printed on I think it's quite representative of the facilities that we have there, unless you're into outdoor swimming. So as you probably already know, we've been doing a course for the last few weeks now, uh, teaching us how to be amazing comics. Now with such things there has to be rules. One such rule is we weren't allowed to get wasted before we came up on the stage, not to get too pissed. Nobody said anything about ketamine though. <laughs> You should see it upstairs, it's like a cross between the 330 at Chepstone and afternoon tea around Ozzy Osbourne's house. I don't indulge in such things myself, I'm middle-aged and far too boring. I went to a cash point this afternoon, I put my card in the machine, it said, do you want cash or do you want cash with advice? Rather naively, I asked for cash with advice gave me a £20 note and a slip of paper that said stop wearing super dry t-shirts, you look like a sad fat wanker in here. <laughs> I recently went to Benidorm for my mother-in-law's 80th birthday. Yes, you can imagine my joy going on an easy jet flight full of reluctant relatives, brandy pensioners, and my mother-in-law was off her face on poppers before we'd even left the town. <laughs> so we arrived and she wanted to go clubbing. Because that's what you do when you're 80, you go clubbing in Benidorm. <laughs> so we went out that night and she had a lovely time. We decanted her into a taxi when the club threw out. And then we had to look for her friend Booby Sue. <laughs> Now, Booby Sue is in her 70s. She has the dress sense of Lily Savage, the liver of George Best, and the libido of a bonobo monkey. We eventually found her sitting in the corner, getting off with a small time drug dealer from Faversham. I never knew skin that old and leathery could sustain a hickey. That's a love bite. But Sue's every day to school day with our Sue. So the next day they wanted to go to the beach and we seem to stumble across a uh, reshoot of the Michael Jackson thriller video, the porn version. One particularly elderly lady was his son stood in front of me and it was the day she was born. She bent over to retrieve something from her beach towel. Now I don't know if you've ever pulled apart a cheese and ham toasty. <laughs> With the octogenarian flats and wing piece combo, it's not one I'd recommend. Of course, Booby Sue had to get in on the action. She released Ants and Deck, they made a for freedom. She looked as if she had a pair of tights around her neck and had slid a small honeydew melon into each foot. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting old and miserable. I have a list of people that can fuck off. <laughs> and I add to it every day. Today's instalments have included Danny Dyer. How anyone with an acting range of cocky helmet has sustained a career in acting is genuinely beyond me. Britain's got talent judge Amanda Holden. Anyone that's been teabagged by Les Dennis has no right, has no right to judge anybody. And Madonna. She's been carting herself around on yet another rewind tour. 
charging £320 a ticket to watch her drag her scrawny cradaver up and down the stage wearing a basque she first wore over 30 years ago murdering songs that she first murdered 30 years ago and flicking her bean like a demented parrot I can do all of these things for you for under 30 pounds but I may struggle to get into the Basque. <laughs> Everyone always wanks on about Madonna, how good she looks for her age. You would too if most of you were sat in the bottom of a surgeon's bin. <laughs> I actually think her surgeon keeps all the bits he chops off of her and he pops them into a freezer. When he's got enough, he defrosts them, he stitches them all together, and that, ladies and gentlemen, and those in between, is how we ended up with Miley Cyrus. <laughs> My name's Richie, thank you. <laughs>